Early this morning, police were summoned to marsh deep inside Kanyogoga swamp, where most channels in Kampala drain their contents. There, they found remains of a woman's dead body. Mzee Sulaiman Kasumba discovered this skull on Thursday as he collected plastic sand rubber from the garbage swept into the swamp during the rains. Kasumba claims that he reported the matter to Kanyugoga police post who didn't respond. Among those attracted to the news of a human skull are some relatives of Sise Namkasa, the woman captured by CCTV cameras falling into an open drainage channel at Nakawa traffic lights on 2nd May. <laughs> We believe that this body could be of the other lady who fell in the drainage at Nakawa. It's good that for the family, at least they will have recovered their dead person. Although relatives could identify the remains as those of Sise Namkasa, police insist that they'll first hold a DNA test to prove. We cannot conclusively say that is for Sise Namkasa. Uh, however, because we are going to take it for DNA, and the body has already been dispatched to Mulago City Mochere, where they will cut out DNA. For Nakawa Mayor Ronald Balimwezo, the accident is a result of negligence by the Kampala Capital City Authority. And after cutting out the DNA and uh, being certified that it is the right body of the, of the deceased, we are going to go to courts of law for negligence. And that's the case. So that we may be responsible as cases here. Now, this body was found intact, something unusual given the long time it is suspected to have been held here. I consulted a medical expert to untie the puzzle. It was still raining and more mud went on top of the body and it was, uh, it is, I think it is normal to find such a body uh, intact because scavenging animals may not have uh, then attacked it. So the family are now waiting to see if the police investigations will confirm that the retrieved remains belong to their loved one. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.